So I, I checked out these devices on a video uh, made by uh, Adventure Built on YouTube, and he was at the Overland Expo Mountain West for 2022, and he did an interview with the manufacturer, and I thought they were unique. Uh, the rope rollers, uh, which are pretty cool, just got released, uh, I guess, a couple of weeks before I went ahead and bought them. But the roller cams, I think, have been around for a little bit. But uh, really cool devices. I really do like them. It's a really interesting idea. They're fairly cheap. I'll go into a little bit more detail at the very end of the video, but uh, check them out. So, been busy this morning. Uh, trimmed out that uh, big tree that was down back there. Got all the, the tops sitting here. Did a bunch of kindling and chopped a, a whole bunch of wood. Got plenty of uh, plenty of chopped wood for uh, this evening. So I figured uh, spend uh, doing some odds and ends of uh, activity around camp. But I've been wanting to do a review on these new guys. So this is from a company called Roller Cam, and I was. I was actually in the market for some new ratchet straps. I had some ratchet straps. They weren't really good quality. They didn't they really hold really well. They didn't tighten really well. Um, so I was in the market. I was watching a YouTube video and I saw uh, a guy do a, uh, a little interview with the guy out at, uh, I think it was Expo West. And um, they were talking about these things and they seemed kind of unique. So I jumped online rollercam.com I believe is their website and um, I kind of scoped it out they're they're fairly inexpensive and they're a little bit unique so they're, they're small and compact and unlike your normal ratchet strap it doesn't ratchet so I'll show you the mechanism here it uh, feeds through and you've got this lever and as you can see these teeth really big teeth and it's got this uh, roller, so roller cam, right? So you just feed it through. And then you pull it to wherever, and, and you can do it as the, the teeth are on there, where you can pull it this way. But to loosen it, it really bites. And I've used these a number of times. Uh, I've probably used them about four times now to lash down my tent and my waterproof bags on top of the Rebel Off-Road Rack. So as you see, the, well, let me get up top so you can see it. The Rebel Rack has these slots in it. And of course you can go around. Now none of these edges are super sharp, but I was concerned about it. But so far, these straps are really tough and they've, uh, they've been able to handle it. And I haven't had any issues whatsoever with uh, fraying of the straps but uh, you can do other options to kind of help that so um, the standard let me undo this Kind of the standard way of doing it you've just got this um, loop got it very heavily stitched very good quality strap you take this and you put it through and then you loop it back on itself that holds really well and then you do the same with the other end and then you put it through here Tighten it until it's tight enough and this thing is really heavy. And then all you got to do when you want to undo it, push the little lever and there it goes. So I really like the, uh, the straps. They work really well. And then I thought they sell them online with just the strap, which is what I got. They also sell them with D-rings and with hooks. Now, I don't particularly like the open hooks because if you do wind up getting a little bit of slack, a, a hook can jump off whatever you've got. And when I've got my, my tent, 
which is very large, very expensive, strapped to the top of this. The last thing I want to do is see it bouncing down the highway behind me. So I went ahead and I used some D-rings that I've got just to make sure that I didn't get any wear on the straps. And I just loop it through the strap end, or the loop end, sorry, through the loop. And then I just clip this to one of those little slots. And that way it's metal to metal contact and I don't get a frayed strap. But like I said, I've actually done it the other way and I haven't really had any problem. It's just me being a little overly cautious. So you could go either either direction. So I picked up I picked up three or four of these. I don't really remember how many I got. And then on top of that, I spotted this. And this is a really cool little device. So it's just a, basically a, a paracord um, style cord. And it's tied here. It's got a little clip so you could do this on, you know, something that had a loop on it or, you know, whatever. It's opened up, but it's a good, good quality hook. I don't know for sure what that's made of, but it seems to to be pretty high quality. So then you just loop it back and then it, it's tight. And the only way to loosen that is to hit that lever. So you can you can do, and these come in handy. I haven't had as much use for these. I, I bought two or three of those as well, but they work really good. As a matter of fact, one day I, uh, I had some winds and I looped it around this tree and the tent was a little bit closer, but I actually looped through here and to the tree just to make sure that the the wind was coming from this side it didn't it didn't collapse the side of the tent um so they come in really useful for things like that just basically something quick and easy to uh lash stuff down with it, it, where you don't need the heavy duty strap like this and i don't i don't remember what they cost but all this stuff seemed like it was uh pretty pretty fair prices and kind of an interesting deal after i ordered them i hadn't even i hadn't got my order yet uh, although they did send it out pretty quickly, but within a day of making the order, I got a call from the guy who runs the company. And he was uh, real friendly, real chatty, and uh, he was trying to kind of get his arms around where people were hearing about him from, and I, I just let him know it was the Expo West, and uh, I saw it on a YouTube channel, and him and I, him and I chatted for a while, and uh, he actually wound up sending me a uh, extra, I think, I think an extra one of these. Because I had, this This one is nine foot. They come in a lot of different lengths. This is a nine foot, which is probably overkill for what I need. And I, I think I bought a couple of three footers. And so now I have two three footers and two nine footers and then two of these. But uh they seem like a really nice company. They're uh, they're kind of you know catering to more the. I don't want to say they're catering to the off road community. I think they're just trying to sell stuff like most companies. But um, they they seem to be real focused on some of those areas. You know the overlanding events and stuff like that. And you know there's some practical application for their stuff in in our market. So uh, I always carry. I wanted the three footers because a lot of times if you're if you're off road and you uh, break something like a, a steering mechanism or you, you, you pop a spring mount or something, you need a strap to be able to strap that down. And you want, you know, a heavy duty strap like this. And, and I just thought this was nice to where you could, you know, as hard as you can pull on this, you can tighten that up and then it's gonna stay until you, until you press that button. Now I haven't used it in any of those type applications, but I think it'll, it'll work quite well. So um, those are the, the roller cam mechanisms. If uh, you guys are uh, interested, go out and check them out on the web. Uh, they seem like a really great company and they're making a really good product. So hey, I just wanted to pass on a little additional information. So I picked up a set of six of the rope rollers. Each one of those comes with a six foot, three millimeter cord. You could swap that out for any similarly sized cord and customize it if you wanted to. The roller cams I originally picked up uh, four of the three foot versions to do trail repair and then they sent me two of the nine foot versions and honestly the nine foot versions I've been using more often because of strapping stuff to the top of the the Jeep, but um, 
The owner mentioned that you can just take those nine foot and they sell anywhere from three to 25 foot versions, but you could take any of those and trim it down to where it, it met your requirement and then just melt the end so it doesn't fray. So a very flexible product. I really liked them. Uh, please do all the good YouTube stuff, liking and subscribing and everything else. And we'll see you on the next video.